Thank you, Chair, and good morning to everyone. We also would like to thank this opportunity to reflect on what has been happening over the past two days. I'm again Valchan Tuluki. I'm the National Collective Bargaining Coordinator of Communication Workers Union. Here I'm with Comrade Tsepang Lisiba, who is also part of our restructuring committee in CWU. Chair, as it has been said by many stakeholders here and also what we have taken note of with regard to comments which came through about our presentation, we have taken note of such and we would like to place also today that we have looked into many of the presentations which we have done and also looked into the ICASA document. We, we had some findings which we, we would like to express also here. As we know also that our role in developing regulations also is to ensure that we influence the outcome in favor of the working class and the poor. And I take those who will be responding will also look into that aspect because our interests and objectives will never be the same. We have also taken note that the ICT sector as a whole is a jobless growth sector, which we have listened very attentively when many people claim that there will be jobs which will be created, while indeed there will be less quality jobs which will be created if it goes that way. When you look into what we are talking about here around or surrounding the local loop and bundling. Also, Chair, our, find, our findings is that ICASA's definition of the local loop and bundling is also questionable to us. And also, we have looked into some various aspects, particularly with regard to the ITU definition of the local loop, which, in our view, we believe that the consideration which has been contained within the discussion document is somehow ill-informed with the basis that it did not take into full consideration of the South African situation. Not entirely is not considered according to us by what the regulator has taken into consideration when they developed the definition of the local loop. We are, we are also, as we have indicated, listened to some of the submissions. We looked into the aspect of the COPA the mobile copper and also the arguments related to that. We believe the scope of LLU in universal access, which has been one of the area which has been raised, there is misunderstanding which was created by some of the people also here. And it is our belief that the issue of universal service and universal access are linked to whatever things we are raising related to the local loop. We are agreeable to that aspect. However, whether it will happen is the question that will be following. We have taken note of the insinuation from Internet Solutions about our relationship with Telecom. And we are not going to be apologetic around that aspect that anyone will question our relationship. We do have, yes, indeed, a formal relationship with Telcom SA because we are fully and formally recognized. And those are the relationship guided by the Labor Relations Act. And we want to put on record that we are well aware of those who some of the stakeholders here we have refused us access and also to engage us as Communication Workers Union. So when we deal with the local loop and bundling, we are not going to use the local loop and bundling to, to build relationships. 
there are processes where we can deal with some of the issues related to the relationship. We indicated that we are open for any persuasion and also meetings. We will not deny if some of the, the people in particular, the access seekers, if they want to have relationship with us or speak to us or have meetings, we are open for that. Uh, we have also taken a serious note with regard to what MWEB raised, particularly when they were questioned about the issue of employment, that they cannot be forced to, to employ more people. This has been our submission to say, when you look into the approach to local loop and bundling, the, the approach is not about the idea which some of the people looked into to develop or to come out with a way of unbundling the local loop. The idea of the access seekers will be more related to their business interest, not to what we, 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 we will be looking into, what will be the role from government side in terms of the current high unemployment rate, whether it will do anything, and also looking into what we, we ask is whether the approach here, is it about uh, the, the network facility competition or is it about the service-based competition? This is one of the things which we have asked ourselves and we, say, and we are saying here to say yes indeed, this is a reflection of saying that some of the access seekers might even go to the level of not even engaging us, particularly from the labor side, to look into some options if the local loop and bundling successful, is successfully implemented. One of the elements which we believe we have to strongly refuse to accept is the comparison which are from time to time raised about the UK. We are a developing country. We have been raising this aspect that we are a developing country which is still struggling, although some of the people are denying this element, we are still struggling to correct the imbalances of the past. We, we can be here in these beautiful towns or suburbs, but if you go to some of the areas, you will believe that you are either in a different uh, country because of the situations in those countries. Chair, one of the, the other issues which we want to raise for, for, for the noting by, by the panel is the Neotel contradiction, which we, they were happy to talk about the copper, but when they talk about the fiber aspect, they believe that they have to, put, to protect that because this goes also to MTN and and Vodacom, including Cell C, when they talk about the mobile. You could, you could see that people are here protecting their territories, but when you come to the local loop, it's because they believe this is where we will be having the business opportunity. We want to put on record that MTN has been currently retrenching employees from 2000, 2009. And also they are outsourcing services. Vodacom is doing the same. Outsourcing services which are more related to reducing their human resources. So in that element, what is going to happen? They are more introducing the casual employment so that they can reduce the cost on, the, on their labor side. So if they are going to come here and claim to say that the local loop and bundling will create jobs, we don't believe that that, that is going to be the, the, the true sense of what the objective of local loop and bundling is. We, I know and we know also that some of the elements we will be raising might be deviating from the actual aspect of local loop and bundling. However, we believe that it will be correct if we raise them so that tomorrow or at any time when we come here, we will be looking at ICASA as the driver of this process, and we will be judging ICASA 
on what happened if local loop and bundling is implemented now, particularly whether have you taken into consideration all the aspects of the perceived negative impacts which we have been raising from time to time. Chair, we, we, also, we also want to, to reflect generally with regard to what has been happening in our country, particularly with regard to the regulations. We can put on record that there are many outstanding regulations which have been put aside due to various reasons. And if, if we look into the current situations because some, some of the people are raising that we need to fast track this process. I'm not sure I was happy with the, the slides which was showing the cat and the chairperson's face which will result into a lion. I don't know what, what was the implication of that but I believe it was threatening us in a big way <laughs> because because if you are faced with a lion, I don't believe you'll be happy. Otherwise, the lion might make you eat supper, breakfast, or lunch. So this is one of the things which we have taken note of. And we believe that uh, the people who came with it, although they were very much strong with regard to the situation in Telcom, they, they helped us to read this situation, to say, yes, this situation might lead to bad things if we are not careful. And therefore, we are calling upon everyone not to be emotional when dealing with this issue. Rather, we should go a route where we will be able to ultimately take account of all the outcomes which will be coming out of here. Uh, particularly also looking into the moral and social issues which might be there. And we believe that in as far as our submissions are concerned, we're definitely addressing those issues. The comrade will add on some of the things which I have left out. And I, I believe the panel will seriously take cognizance of that. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Chair. Chairperson, to us, our view is still that the country is not ready to implement LLU. Regardless of COPA, mobile, and I had other uh, people who were even submitting for two-way radios. And then to us as CW, majority of our members, based on the situations of the past, if one job is lost, not only one family is going to suffer, but because we've got extended families, especially us who come from DRC, or is it deep rural communities. Every month end we have to take food home. And remember if one lost a job, how many people are going to, to be affected? And the other issue, uh, fortunately, most of the parties here were open about it. Social responsibility. And including it under uh, universal access. Yes, indeed, places like uh, the genesis of, of uh, South Africa and Botokwa, to mention but a few. Our people, they don't have access. And then to build the infrastructure, you have to take this following into consideration. Is there rural development? Taking government into play that if you take other companies or other governmental departments, you build their head offices or departments in those deep rural areas. And then most of us will go back home. 
to work from where we come from. And then it will be easy for access. And then again, Chairperson, the other challenge is that yesterday, as, as Comrade Valches alluded earlier, that uh, we feel that uh, we've, we, we were attacked. But because we are still maintaining that, our responsibility is, pro is to protect jobs, is to serve our members. MTN can do whatever they want, Telcom can do whatever they want. But as long as those things they are not in the interest of our members, we are going to fight. And what we are saying is that, from CW's point of view, this is not the end of the road. We are still going to push this till we get satisfaction. Thanks. Uh, thank you, CWU. You stated just now and also on, on Tuesday that South Africa is not yet ready for LLU. When do you believe South Africa will be ready for LLU? Thanks very much, Chair. South Africa will be ready when we compared apples with apples, as I said, on Tuesday. And again, in our view, the researches that were presented here, it was like thumb sucking because they, they don't have meat. That's our view. And for example, people, uh, most of the parties were using UK, UK, UK. And then I think in telecom panel, there was a gentleman who, who, who presented something of job declinement in the UK. And then that raised a serious concern that most of the parties, they've been comparing us to UK. But are they having facts? Is Telcom having facts? And then those are the challenges that we, we must be sure because here we mustn't think of maybe the profit only. We must still maintain our human touch. If we lose it, then this country is not going anywhere. Thanks. Just at chair. Uh, in addition to what the comrade is saying, when we, we made our submissions, we made a lot of considerations. And one of those was about uh, network de development or infrastructure development. Looking into that, if our submissions are taken into considerations and there is that process which is taken forward of ensuring that the network infrastructure is developed and there is a balance. So we believe that that process will be at that time then allow the local loop and bundling, the readiness of South Africa. Over and above that, as we indicated, we also showed or said, tried to, to reason by indicating that at certain point, even if South Africa within the developing environment as a country can take a lead. And at that time, if the n network infrastructure is there, we believe we can, then South Africa will be ready. And this can be taken forward. Thank you. Thank you. We have another question from a remote audience member for our IRC channel, Sky Luke Water. And he says, do you feel job security is more important than developing access and services? And he reminds the CWU of the CASA's vision, which is to advance the building of a digital society. Thank you, Chair. Yes, indeed. Uh, that is our belief and that is the principles we are living for as the organized labor or as a union. Job security is one of our most important element, and that's the reason, the reason why we are there. We believe that whatever comes thereafter is secondary to us. And the vision, we are not going to, to talk around the vision of ICASA or any other uh, organizations. We will be looking into our, our vision. Our vision is to defend those jobs which are currently there and also is to ensure that 
job, uh, uh, job creation is one of the elements which is taken forward. If we look into the issues uh, related to the local loop and bundling, that's the reason why we are, we are asking a question to say, if anyone can come with their submissions and say, this is how jobs will be created or this is how the, the, the current jobs will be protected in telecom, we will be happy to, to take consideration of that and we will be happy to be engaged so that commitments are done. If there are any failures from whoever will be saying that this, is, this will be happening then, we are committed to, 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 to consider that. So indeed, Chair, the comrade, if there's any addition to the question, will assist if I have left some elements of the question. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks very much, uh, comrade. Uh, thanks very much, Chair. And it is said, comrade, Chair. Uh, chair, yes, indeed, uh, to us, jobs is a first priority. Because if you check also in the room, uh, members of the public, they are using their, their gadgets and they, they can access broadband. And then just imagine if you don't have a job, are you going to be able to access? No, you can't. Then that's why our first priority is to secure jobs. Thanks. Okay, thank you. And a question from Johan Elsa, the Let's Talk Network. This is a simple question. I should have a short answer. By whom are most of your members employed? Uh, for now, I'll say, although I don't have the, the current uh, statistics or data, it is telecom and the post office. Okay. Another uh, question via a remote uh, uh, IRC channel from Paul Hewell. The CWU appears to take issue with Vodacom and MTN having retrenched workers. And the CWU assumes that LLU will benefit these mobile players at Telcom and its workers' expense, or at the expense of Telcom and its workers. Surely LLU is primarily beneficial to operators who enter into ADSL markets who in turn will require networking-related jobs, and those jobs cannot be outsourced to offshore. Is that a future? Or do, are we expected to respond to that, or should we note it as a view? I'm not entirely certain. Um, I think it's a note here. Yeah? Okay. Right. No more questions? CW, I thank you very much for your presentation.